I'm a good player, baby. I ain't nothing like these other niggas who say do it big, I do it big. I'm a good player, baby. I ain't nothing like these other guys. I'm a super sandy small fry. John in the Cause sometimes I be like, I don't like it. I don't like the way I look right here, but he a boy too. Yeah, he don't <laughs> say nothing. <laughs> Your wig was a little John, what they say if you ain't got right, no, you don't say, don't say it all. Like, like from 30 yeah, seconds on like to two hours. Yeah, he won't say your, your wig was a little creepy. Was, right, tell me. I fucking want to know. I literally want to know. <laughs> Good Players Podcast. I am JT's alongside of me is my co-host Daryl Superior. Yeah, 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 yeah. And alongside of me is <laughs> Hey, get the joke out. <laughs> alongside of me is my boy D. Kelly. What's up? Man? What up, bass head? You like a cool fella today. <laughs> yes. Why like, you finna talk extra slow, y'all? Yellow hat. <laughs> yellow glasses. Talk about you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You like the best school bus driver ever. <laughs> like you drive right. safari jeeps, you got the <laughs> shit on. He got some new bass, this nigga ready to run. <laughs> John Cam, what it do, my boy? <laughs> Zoom in on that shit, boy. Show your camera skills. <laughs> let, me, let me adjust that. Bear drill like he in the dungeon family. Girl, look, then we got, look, bro, then we got he definitely a part shit. of the dungeon family. <laughs> The Safari family. <laughs> the Wild Thorn Bears. Like <laughs> the Wild Player Bears. Okay, I like that. Killed the whole vibe. <laughs> Ugly <laughs> bears. Yeah, so crazy. If y'all ever want somebody to start, start cracking on you, just say something that ain't funny. Nobody got to laugh. That was a good defense mechanism. <laughs> and the law side of me is half woman, half amazing. I like that. Standing tall at four foot three. No, like four eleven. Y'all like four eleven. Y'all like that though. Young right. April G. Hey G. It's her. Doom, it's doom, her. Doom, doom. We just shot the intro right now. Look, yeah. Look, oh you know, yeah, you know, that's lit. Yeah. That's lit. Yeah. That's hard. <laughs> Hey, that's how that shit got to come on, man. Yeah. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Pink playbook on the way, niggas. Yes. Gang, Stay gang. tuned. Gang, gang. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> Everybody looked at me in the fuck. You start, bro. Uh, you you, you don't want to wanna... fuck in this whole day. Hey, yo. All right, so. Um, I like that, Before though. we continue, before we continue, we need everybody to follow us on um, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, Kofi K.O. Dash. FI.com backslash good players. The good players. P L A I R S. Shout out to all our uh, first time listeners, last time listeners. Facts. Everybody who said you weren't going to listen and then your ass having to come back because you subscribed. Facts. They ain't here there. Man, I bet we have some ugly ass listeners. <laughs> 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 well, I'll be thinking that too. Like, we're going to rush their ass one day. Oh, <laughs> uh, hey. If y'all want us to rush somebody y'all know, send their uh, picture to the inbox and get on their ass on the next episode. Then that can be kind of funny. Yeah. Rush <laughs> I'm going to rush the person who sent it. Why are you going to send something? I'm going to rush you. <laughs> why would you do that? Yeah, why would you do it? Now I'm going to rush you. <laughs> right. Okay. Yo, man, shout out to y'all, man. And um, just continue to tap in. Um, we got the event on the way. So everybody in Birmingham, y'all be on the lookout for that details coming soon. Ain't got dog on. We just gonna keep being player in the motherfucker. What y'all laughing at, bro? Very much P. What John said? That nigga who you tagged in that photo. Oh, with the purr. Shout out to Irish Wolf. Oh, to my room. What does that look like, Big Kid? What do you look like? Jive turkey. That nigga look like a jive turkey. That must be jive turkey as hell. No, like, John, we can pull you out. You gotta see it. John, you gotta see that shit. Hold on. show us Like, you really want to like. This was in the group chat or something? No, no, no. I tagged him on Facebook. I didn't laugh myself to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know how when you watch them documentary, you see one of them real pimps from back yeah. in the day? Nah, they be funny. Like, real yeah, pimping. Yeah, I, nah, I ain't gonna tell you no more. Then they're like, real pimping. <laughs> real pimping. <laughs> and they like the definition of pimping. <laughs> I think pimping is just pimping, been pimping. Pimping, oh God. I don't mind. He like one of them be like, church. <laughs> now, now you know. <laughs> <laughs> <Let me see. laughs> 
I'm scared to say some shit. Like, <laughs> like what? Who is that? <laughs> who is that, y'all? Who is that? Who is that? That's the thing we went to school. Oh y'all. God, <laughs> that's who they look. Wear. You know, uh, Floss the Mac. Yeah, that's his brother. <laughs> but no, like that's his blood. Hold up, let me see it again. You don't know these people? Actually, I do. <laughs> like on some like families. Everybody know these it's folks. So good, nah, they funny like, no more. <laughs> no, like I didn't say that. I didn't say that. They're not related to me by biologically. It ain't no fun when the raven got the gun. <laughs> like by some marriages. Like oh. my yeah. Some marriages. I yeah. fuck with them folks. Like bro. his that's wife. A, that's a good family, bro. Granddaddy yeah. was my granddaddy. Step granddaddy. Mm-hmm. Like my my grandma was married to him before she passed. So that's how I know them. But that's crazy. And random. <laughs> hey, shout out to them. Shout out to the Mac Farling. <laughs> I'm so weak. <laughs> like and he's hilarious. Oh God. On TikTok, I be weak. You talk to your ass. <laughs> Thank you, talk to <laughs> The little stuff he's been doing by Carly been funny too. He been putting it on TikTok. That boy, that boy asked us about Isaiah Rashad <laughs> just randomly. <Yeah. laughs> I, I, I like him. Where he been at? Because <laughs> I heard about something that came out. I don't know if it was true. <laughs> they ever said, that shit true. <laughs> <laughs> we were like, he's straight like he was our cousin. We yeah. was crazy. He's crazy. We were like, he's straight. He performed at Coachella and shit. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Nigga been going up. Yeah, the concert still packed He said, like, oh, I ain't think that shit was true or <laughs> Like, no, oh, that shit was true. <laughs> you definitely have like that, boy. Wow, that was real. <laughs> that was a good one, Jay. Uh, oh crazy. shit! <laughs> yes, Shout, out <laughs> Shout out to Peasy. Shout out to Peasy. Hey man, oh uh, yeah, we got new music came out. I'll say Cardi B. Mm-hmm. They just dropped the two point version of uh. Oh wait, Glorilla and Money Bad Yo. Oh, okay, that shit hood as hell. That's that's a ghetto ass song. <laughs> that song with my, uh, Money Bad Yo and Cardi B I mean I uh, Glorilla Glorilla That song yeah. get over hell I ain't listen to it, it I don't like know it I heard much. it But I wasn't really a fan It was sound like they was in the studio together Yeah Cardi B Bruh I'm talking about um, Money Bad Yo and um... Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Okay. They gave like You sent the verse Yeah <laughs> And they plugged it in Told you what a What a rapper yeah. Type mm-hmm. shit I ain't gonna lie y'all I'm not too... I know you is <laughs> Trying to be a hot boy. <laughs> <laughs> Turn to a hot boy. <laughs> hot boy. It's definitely the hat. It's not that. No, nah, it's not the hat because I didn't wear this hat outside before. It's equivalent to niggas when they wear like toboggan caps. Exactly. And, and we inside, so. You're right. You right. Know. The wind well, blowing. He said it ain't no weather inside. Nigga, take his scarf off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so fucking weak. <laughs> it wasn't no scarf, nigga. Ooh. What is it called? It's handkerchief. Handkerchief. Okay. Handkerchief. <laughs> handkerchief. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. But you like that's, the song? yeah, it was straight. It was all right. It was cool. You know what I'm saying? The video was fire as hell, and I also directed the video. So you know, he um he did a actually excellent ass job on that shit. On the video, yeah. I don't know about the song, but the video. The video, he got they got all the kids in the video. That's like real you know cute. what I'm saying? You could tell he a real like family man type shit. Yeah, he the changed. song just you know still who he is for real. You get wrong with a nigga type shit, you know? <laughs> Shout out that boy shit. Shout out that boy <laughs> And then um, Travis Scott dropped this morning. What's it called? Utopia? Utopia. Yeah, shout out shout out to Travis Scott. Yeah. Old squad over there. Got dog on. Tease it. You fuck with it? <laughs> Not really. It ain't for me. What type it, of music do you feel like it is? Like, what type of genre? Is it giving rap? No, nah, it's giving, like, alternative rap. Okay. And like that's something we talked about up here before is like uh should sure rap have like different um mm-hmm. subcategories at like the Grammys and shit, right? Cause like Travis Scott put out some like this, you know he gonna do the numbers and you know he gonna, you know what I'm saying, have the most shock value, the more, the bigger numbers cause he a bigger person. And the popularity in it'll make you make him win in the category with a nigga like Killer Mike, you know what I'm saying, who should technically win. Like, if we base it off of, like, better. standard of who they won in the past type shit. You know what I'm saying? But 
I used to come up with subcategories for that shit. You it's like so? it's an alternative pop album. Yeah. I mean, an alternative rap album, but it still got like is he rapping on, on that, that with Drake. You know what I'm saying? Is he rapping on that hoe? Yes. What well, we was just talking about that. Mm-hmm. Travis Scott actually be rapping, bro. Is he giving Yeezus vibes? It sound like that was probably Yeezus. <laughs> and then you could tell he was the he was the engine behind Kanye West at that time. Okay. I, I fuck with For that. real. You can literally hear what he took. And it sound like he took everything to the table. You know what I'm saying? Especially when you know the type of creative that Kanye is. You know, they pay for everything. Shout out to shit. Travis Scott. Shout out to Travis Scott. Tease, what you, you, you ain't fuck with the album, did I, bro, I was listening to it. Like, what, what the fuck am I listening to? Bro, trash. It was song just trash. Like, I was writing notes at first. And then I just lost interest in the shit, bro. Oh, yeah. wow. Okay. Like, he got a couple songs like that song with Drake. That shit, fine. But that's because who? Is it because I mean, Drake is on it? It's the song in general. They did it again. Yeah, Travis huh? Scott. I like Travis Scott on it, too. Okay. Um, He got another song before that. I forgot which, which one it was, but... I like half the song. You don't want to beat switch. I ain't like the beginning of it, but yeah. I like the second half of it. Yeah. It is a couple songs on that hole. You like, bro, you could have kept this shit off here. Oh, like, God. It don't even it don't even fit what the fuck going on, but then you go back and then you listen to like I mean you you wait to see what the visual gonna be like. Cause it's all gonna come together like a big ass boom yeah. at the end. You know what I'm saying? So Yeah, but I know that's not my type of Yeah, yeah, your vibe. Your vibe. And I, your vibe. I, and I ain't capable no of no shit, but yeah. you know. Just know the vision. When you think about me, when he made it, you feel me? No, I, shout out to now, Travis Scott. Regardless, that shit, that shit is strictly like fucking festival. Coachella. Oh God, that shit for so, like Astro World again. Facts. Got but it. It's gonna be way more careful, I guess, this time. Oh, okay. Man, he gonna have to do arenas like to control the numbers. You know what I'm saying? Because mm. he can't do another outdoor festival. That shit is out the park. It's, yeah. That's done. <laughs> so uh, where they can control the numbers and make more sense type shit gotcha you know what I'm saying stadium status yeah. shout out Travis Scott I wonder who he go who who he can go on tour with and it'll be like where so you don't have to worry Dunn, about Tolliver, that he, and if they get, they need something that's company, like more budget. relaxed we need to like calm down we don't need to be like piped up the whole yeah. time nah that gotta be an electric ass night though what's that what's that one um, that one artist you let me hear uh the little pop, the white girl that was signed to good music. Uh, 070 Shape. 070 Shape probably yeah. should open up for him type shit, you know? Like, it's, he got an alternative vibe. Like, he can probably go on tour with, like, Tame Impala and probably, like, uh, what that boy name? Uh, Playboy Cardi. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Some shit like that. It got to be energy with, like, charisma type shit, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That'd be too much. But then, yeah, because... Who gonna be the headliner? That's literally the ego gonna be like, psh, hell. Bro, they, he got a song on his album too, Travis Scott, called Finn. Is that what it's called? Ooh. I know that's a turn song, but bro, that's it's kind of annoying. Yeah. <laughs> it's the voice on the. Bro, that's, <laughs> yeah. that one nigga that's on the song, bro, that nigga sound like a mix between Ding. Playboy Cardi, Young Nudie, Future, Young Thug, Lil Baby. He sound like everybody on one nigga. As one nigga. He might have an AI verse, though. He sound like Rollo Rodriguez a little. (laughs) What? Oh, God. Yeah. He might have an AI verse. Like, shout out to Rollo. They probably type that shit into the. Y'all don't don't think uh, artists be doing that now? Like, probably type a song into the AI and then just stare that hoe. Yeah. Because who own it? But I feel like the artists don't want that. Like, they're against it. But, I mean, you could be right. Shit, when you just trying to. Crunch out a number after that shit deal with that Drake song. You might be stuck in the studio. You're like, damn, I need to make one more, put one more song on that bit. And he's sleepy. He's like, fuck it. it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah, make a song about this. <laughs> now I go in there, bitch, and change it. Whoever come up with that concept to do that is going to make some money. Y'all don't think that's going to fuck everything up. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. AI, yeah. Niggas it's going to make it to You got to see a nigga record this shit, but I want to see you record this shit. Which is kind of cool, too. I like that. Let's see you record it. It's really the engineer who make it happen for real. Yeah, okay, so let real. us see it. Cause I guarantee, a, like a, a raw song, like on some Playboy Cardi shit, probably funny as fuck. The whole time you mix it <laughs> until you get it right. Like remember, I sent you that video of him. We look like he's trying to push that shit out. Like, bro, hell no. <laughs> You really not doing that. Remember that, that video of Walker Flocker recording his shit? Wow, 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 wow. That's so funny because it sounds so good on the track, though. Oh, God. It's the engineer. Yeah. 
Shout out to you. all the engineers out there. They're the yeah. niggas before they be in the... In the <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't talk about... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you sound like Michael On God every day. What have you doing? It's like a day on me knowing the words. <laughs> like the like y'all gotta see uh APE. Yeah. Do his shit, bro. He get the <laughs> like what the fuck? <laughs> fuck you doing that shit like that for? This shit be crazy. These y'all niggas in them air lips. Niggas really be having rap voices too. Yeah. <laughs> No. You got a rap voice though. I know. I need to hear it. You got a rap voice. John got a rap voice. Ooh, <laughs> you know what I seen the other day in my memories on Facebook? You had tagged me and you and D. Kelly or something. Yeah, we used to rap. Yeah. But I couldn't pick it was like the website wasn't there. I just wanted to hear it so bad. I wonder which one it was. I'm not telling. We had a few of them on that. It was like 10 years ago. Yeah. We've been friends on Facebook for so long, so it's like Damn. 10 years ago. That's five. Me and D. Kelly, man. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> D. Keller wanted to call this niggas out. Oh, God. Okay, I like oh, it. Jesus Christ. That nigga be, be snapping, saying crazy shit. <laughs> like, damn. <laughs> John got a rap voice for real. John, John, John let him hear a rap voice, John. John, you be John rapping? John ain't got a rap voice. Huh? He ain't got a rap voice. You be rapping? Go on, we gotta type in the AI. You give, it, you give it rapper now? Okay. I'm you the rapper. Tupac, Hail Mary. Go do the end. Go ahead. Go ahead. Y'all is crazy. Go ahead. I ain't no killer, but don't push me. Go ahead. I ain't no killer. Go, Chad. Go. I ain't, go, no, I ain't go. no killer for real, but don't push me. <laughs> Man, we not finna do this. Is we for real? Okay. I ain't no killer, but don't push me. <laughs> You sound like you would trip and drop the gun. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> this shit was so clumsy. <laughs> like on All About the Benjamin when that nigga so dropped the gun and out the boat. <laughs> <laughs> like, why did he... <laughs> why? My job is so funny. <laughs> <laughs> He's only finally standing up for himself. <laughs> <laughs> like at the end, color purple. <laughs> He's in the no table. <laughs> that was all funny. my that life. Was <laughs> no killer, no push me. <laughs> and if I stood up here, white be parking his ass out. And no I cannot. <laughs> like Norbert when he said something funny. <laughs> <laughs> you need a new rap voice, my boy. Man, you funny as hell, John. Oh, oh God, shit. funny as fuck. Like. Shout out to John. Bro, y'all seen on the day, um, to me, it seemed like they pinning the shit on the nigga, but I don't want to talk about it. They trying to lock a nigga up for killing Tupac. <laughs> oh, yeah. Tupac. Oh, shit. Yeah, they said this nigga nice. had the bullets from them. <laughs> like, let, <laughs> let, <laughs> like, let, <laughs> we know they all. They said they found shit. They said for he had documents and shit. I'm looking like. Who did? Some niggas. Somebody. In California. They interview the nigga all the time. Fuck this thing. Floyd Mayweather had to put out a, uh, a post like I don't have nothing to do with that. I don't Floyd know anything. Mayweather? Yeah. yeah, he be hanging with Floyd Mayweather, bro. This nigga be he he was on a bro. He was on a two part documentary to talk about this. They, shit. Asked, they asked him a couple of times. They said, "Did you?" What he said? Do you see? Did you see who killed Tupac or some shit? Who shot mm-hmm. at Tupac? And he was like, "I'm gonna keep." He was trying to like, "I'm gonna keep it uh, street." I just know where the fire came from. It came from behind me. I ain't seen nothing. <laughs> Why would you want a nigga You finna lie <laughs> So now they say This nigga was in a car huh? With the niggas that killed Tupac Let's go through his shit But for some reason bro All this shit They saying they found bro Y'all just randomly This nigga still got All this shit Yeah bro He sound like an irresponsible nigga. <laughs> <laughs> That don't like, sound like fuck? Kill my shit like that <laughs> Like what the fuck But you know niggas like clout though mm-hmm. So Man, nigga probably got drunk one night. Like, hey, People no, I said still that got he the gun. I killed two people. Nigga probably like, what, nigga? Uh, you think I'm bullshit? <laughs> Fuck the They nigga. saying that he, uh, well, somebody alleged that he, that Floyd said that he saw it or he witnessed it or whatever. It's like, why would that be coming out now? Floyd Mayweather said he saw two. That's what some, yeah, that's what, that's what was the story. So he basically had to, what was the source? It. it was you saying that was video? Floyd there? Oh, damn. Probably not. 
But he basically just said, no, I don't have nothing to do with this. Leave me out of it. And he definitely uh, probably was just outside Mac and the hanger. Yeah, I just seen it. <laughs> he sound like he... He's snitching. He just... Look like he bra- sound like he bragging about the wrong shit. Yeah, because yeah, what is that to brag about? I witnessed the killer. I witnessed the murder. Like, no, you're you not got cool. something to do with it, my boy. Yeah, you <laughs> sound like, like you got something to like, do Keep this shit Not together. something to do with it, but you a witness, so shit. Let's do that. They, talk to it me. seemed like they just locking niggas up. That was, you was there? You was near her? <laughs> Let me, let me holler at you. Let me holler at you real quick, my boy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> I never told we said lock his ass up. <laughs> I mean, on camera. And you look like you got dressed to be on camera. But I guarantee it was Floyd Mayweather. So he probably like bragging like. Then you, you said know. on camera. So yeah. you, even though you said, I never told nobody before, but you just told the whole world. The, wait, like why do people do that? But you me. might as well just told everybody one at a time if you're going to do that dumb ass shit. Some niggas face, bro. Mm-hmm. They yeah. change, you think? We see niggas just like when the camera come on. Oh, yeah. Shit. A nigga turned into a whole rapper. The niggas always do that. Though. I was like, bro. It was girls around? Like one or two. Oh, so then what was they acting like that for? But they weren't like that. <laughs> but usually when girls come around, them niggas do that shit from the door. Ain't got to be no cameras on. They said if you want to find out how a nigga is, put, put them in the room with a, with a bad bitch. Really? You want to find out what type of nigga a nigga is? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what did I do, Jay? Or you see me drop to Rex on the floor? Yeah, I'm on the headline. Shit, we was in up don't spend the money all night. Oh, God. Like, what? See, Nobody asked you. The, last night, we was at the young future. <laughs> By Selm. For real. <laughs> People Look on my Instagram. You know that bad bitch has attention to another nigga. Another nigga trying to front. Uh, ooh. Even niggas in act. <laughs> well, he gonna try. Yeah. That type of stuff is so, like... Pillow talkers. Women oh, don't like here. that shit, though. Mm-hmm. We literally hate it. So, like, stop. I wonder why <laughs> do niggas like pillow talk, though. Like, what's the purpose? Women do it, too. Women pillow talk. Like, bitches would definitely throw salt. And, like, girl, that, that don't matter. I done had it happen several times. I don't care. Like, salt kill. Snails, not a player, bitch. So, whatever. <laughs> bum, 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 Since he already told, he told me what you said. So, <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> hell. Hey, that's man. why Travis Scott got that song in the Twin Bad Bitches. <laughs> he do. I need to hear. I need to. Have yeah, I probably stop listening. Yeah. Like <laughs> probably you ain't gonna listen. But I'm gonna listen. He got a Beyonce feature though. That's funny. Fence. Oh, that's what's up. He definitely got a Beyonce, and it might be Beyonce's song. He probably produced it or something. Yeah. Okay, she up. damn near got the whole song. So. Oh, I like that. Okay. Shout out to the number game. Five, five, five. It, just, it sounded like weird at first because they ain't used to this, this two nigga album just here. Just wait like, till the visual yeah. come out, bro. That shit gone. They the put album out, gonna it, make yeah, sense. I just, that made me realize Beyonce don't get niggas features. Um, yeah, like <laughs> Drake. Uh, like, well, Drake did a feature on Hushy, actually. And that was one of her best songs on the album to me. What song that was? Um... But you know the Wayne? Uh, how'd it go? Uh, I what had to bring it up. No, the um, that don't even sound finished. They got a video. No, is that can I? I was thinking about. No, not that can I, but ooh, um, y'all both could be hitting it. Yeah, Beyonce and Drake. They got the mine. Yeah, mine. You know, all mine. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's the that, that shit was lit. And I like both of them on it, actually. Mm-hmm. Both of them together, they had, it was straight. But Jay-Z was like, no, you're not finna be in the video with this nigga. Y'all gonna shoot it separately and put it together. I feel like she gonna be on this uh, visual right here. This would be dope. She should. No more game. She should. Shout out to uh, Travis Scott, Rick Rubin. Oh, uh, y'all did a, <clears throat> a decent job on the project. <laughs> I still feel like gonna shit harder, though. That's that's gonna be the comparison next. Gonna shit, Jay. I just went back to gunner shit. But then, don't get me wrong, though. It's a couple songs on that Travis Scott, but I definitely went back to that gunner shit. Definitely, definitely when the cut fuck you mean on. Um, <laughs> you know, back to the moon. You know what I'm saying? John, I said you posted the one with Drake on it. Yeah. <laughs> you don't like it, but we like well, it. I like I like the song with Drake. Oh, that, one? that shit mm-hmm. hard as fuck. <laughs> on everything. It's some slaps on that. Drake bro. came in hot. I said, oh, let me run that shit back, boy. That boy, that boy, that boy that be going crazy. Uh, 
Yeah, he was talking bro, about let that again. shit go, bro. You ain't slapped the nigga he was in your face. Stop Who? talking about what you about to do. Who? <laughs> if Drake talking about pushing T on them. Both of them keep talking about each other. Now, nah, him and Kanye are always into it, but... But why? They got like a bromance type of... Mm. Well, you I, like I, I think <laughs> I feel like <laughs> Drake, Drake and him was, like why are they doing it but Drake and um, Kanye I feel like they were genuinely friends at one point because why else would you care that much like only if you hurt my feelings would I keep it going or it's just some industry shit y'all making us do just dragging on my own, but <laughs> hey Cause why y'all hate each other? Just go. You're rich, fun, go whatever. Pusha T talked about your kid. Who gives a fuck? You talked about his wife. We're I'm even. saying so. Let it go. Cause We're when he even. was smacking you around, you was not outside. <laughs> that nigga was peeing in your front yard. You was in the screen door hollering at him. Get out my yard. <laughs> now he didn't went up the street. I don't know. I feel like now you come outside with a strap. It was Lil Wayne beef <laughs> that turned to Drake beef. That's how I feel. It was a what? Lil Wayne beef that turned Drake beef. I mean, because that, that's you, exactly what happened. Yeah, because Drake, but why Lil Wayne don't care no more and you do? It's like, why am I mad at you, nigga? Shit, because Pusha T know how to keep keep a fire burning. Not really. Like, nobody's, fu- when have you ever heard a nigga be like, turn that Pusha T on? <laughs> never. Never. And you never will. <laughs> <laughs> if you with me, you will. I definitely. Okay, that's cute, but you know what I mean. <laughs> no. And I'm not getting in the car with no nigga pushing. He put on pushing T. I'm gonna take my own. What like, kind of nigga? What the is fuck that? is this? Nigga? Like what the fuck? Boy, Y'all just don't like the musicianship. Bro, we, I'm not. Don't. We Malice not is better. Ride to no pushing T. Fans. Facts. Your brother was better than you, so fuck you. You weren't even the best in your group. <laughs> she going crazy. She going crazy. She going pushing T. Like the nigga. You weren't even the best in your group. <laughs> he like nigga that was just best at church. Your brother turned over the life to Christ, and he still can rap I'll better rap than you. Period. Cause on that no line, malice, by the way. Not malice. I don't no want him to. Yeah. Hey, what's up here popping big shit? Yeah. But I still feel like they need to let that shit go. Like you had you had the chance to fight back. You chose not to. What, like what Smokey said, life. I be talking. I mean, I, what he you said? Got mind control over Debo. My mind control over Debo. <laughs> I feel like they both live rent free in each other's head, if we want to be real. For you to come out with a whole song about my personal business, like you really were invested. Men do that? Like, why do you care that he had a baby by, like, uh, a porn star? Who cares? Like, your bitch is basic. I mean, she cool. Don't get me wrong. But, like, you seen her. It's not the same. Sophia killing her. I'm just saying. To my Virginia Williams. Yeah, like, she real, like. She look like she went to Howard or some shit. Okay. Howard went to be. She ain't a bad bitch, though. Like, and she said it. I'm not a bad bitch. I'm like, not like these women. I feel women. Push a T right, right. She <laughs> Different cloth. I feel it. Michelle O'Beezy type. <laughs> no, <laughs> not even it. You said what to you? You said what to you? I feel it. I said, I feel the fear push it to you. Your baby mama's a cum bucket, my boy. Yeah. Okay, but yeah, what is your, we down. don't, we yeah. don't know. We don't know that. He literally had a baby by a porn star. I mean, she we don't. She paid the fuck. She did. She don't have to no more. She living her best life now. Man, Who but, cares? Yeah, that shit old. Oh, shit corny. I had um, I had ran back and listened to that Nas project, that Magic Two. That came out last week, but yeah. I ain't never listened to it. So I just popped it in the other day. It's straight. It's good to see Nas. I did be dominating like that. You know, that's all you've been missing for that long is beats. <laughs> I'm gonna listen to it, John. Everything you gonna like it, bro. If niggas gas, I'm gonna let. I like the one with Fifty Cent. Yeah, it was it was yeah King's Disease better than that, but it's that from that series since Hit Boy, every album. If he would have dropped them albums over the stretch of his career, we wouldn't even Jay Z. It'll be Nas, Jay Z, blah 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 blah. Mm. It was always the beats because the nigga <laughs> was always the better rapper. You know, I know why I can. Niggas with gas. I'm gonna tell y'all who I know some, me. like some good if music. If I work hard at it, <laughs> Lupe Fiasco been dropping yeah, some good music. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I used yeah, to yeah, like yeah. Lupe back in like the Kid Fire Push days. Yeah, I thought. Yeah. 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 yeah um, That's what's up. He dropped the EP uh, not too long ago. He dropped the single like I think it was either this week or last week. Chip a script. I don't remember shit for it, but it was a good <laughs> listen though. Yeah. I ain't gonna go back to it. He got a song called Peace of Man. But it's just, <laughs> <laughs> that's your shit, ain't it? <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's, it, but I don't know if it's a play on words or actual situation. He's talking about a nigga being in the hood 
And he like the pizza, you know how the pizza man don't come to the hood. Yeah. But then he also talking about how the piece of man don't live in the hood. Like, you know what I'm saying? Uh, okay. It's he fine. just he really went crazy. Yeah. That nigga took a quick wordplay bar and made a song. I don't want to hear that. Turn that shit up. Turn it. I don't want to hear that. When I'm out with my homegirls. Like, yeah, it's nah, cool nah. at the house on some reflect mm-hmm. and shit, but like on some outside. What you listen to on your reflect and shit? Like, when you at the crib just chilling and you ain't outside getting up by 40 on the city board. <laughs> <laughs> like, what's it the house? Like, me and my kid, like, I'm girly, so I, li- I still listen to Nicki Minaj. I still listen to, like, Drake. It was a barb. Definitely was a barb. Yeah, the Harajuku bang. No, but we did add the pink tracks on the side, the pink and blue. <laughs> don't don't play. Y'all like this shit back in the day. You know what I'm talking about. We used to have them. Um, but I like, you know, I listen to Drake at home all the time. Like, I'll be honest, I like him. I listen to Rallo is all I've been listening to lately. Like, that's the, I like that album just as much as Gunna album. Mm. I've been listening to it all the way through. You smell new poets, don't it? No, I just love him. <laughs> like play, he, just play, just... he just, you he know, he rapping for Belma. He's he's nice. But yeah, uh, I like R and B at the house though. R and B, Summer Walker, you know, Toxic. Lay it on me. What else you listen to? <laughs> Janae Aiko, Toxic. Yes, I'm not you Toxic though. That's like sophisticated Toxic. I like um, Ari Lennox. You know, the girls, SZA. I like SZA. That's new Neo. I like Control right. better than SOS though. Mm. Control went in. Because mm. the weekend was my shit. Like, that shit was literally exactly how I feel. So mm. I get it. Like, I don't want to be the nine to five. Give me the weekend. That's the most fun part. <laughs> See? Toxic. T O S S I C. Okay. <laughs> Not Sorry, even T O X I C. Next topic. I'm sorry. Toxic in hell. Mm-mm. That's is all that, you Is be- that though? Is that toxic because I only want to be the weekend? Like, that's the fun part. The nine to five is the hard. You get up, get to cook and be a mom and be a dip. The weekend is fun. You want every day to be like that? Yes, that's what I strive to be. And I can see you, like, shopping with hella bags on your own. A little I'm doing blouse with a little <laughs> pants on. We turned up at the house. Look at the little lady getting in their car. <laughs> All them goddamn bags. What she going? Get a G-Wag. Yeah, yo. Yes, I can't wait. <laughs> it's coming, y'all. I promise. <laughs> the sis, she gonna have a silver G wag. No, it's gonna be black. Black. Black on black. Black on black. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to the G wag. <laughs> and now uh, it's two for real. That was uh, uh that was a, that was a decent album. And then uh, rapper Big Wood, he from the East Side. I think I'm saying his name right. W W U G. Uh, he got shot like five times. He in the hospital, but. I seen that on a, another page and I went and go looked up his music and shit. He fire, bro. Oh, wow. He like, he big, like biggie, but he like fire rapping. Like, like Yavo right here, he like right there. And I don't know if he just starring, but he got like 12,000 followers. He got good Spotify numbers, song straight. Like, I might make him my indie pick, but bro, like, I want to listen to him when I saw that. And you know, like, you got to see if it, I don't give like a nigga like one song and be like, oh, he fire. I need like three or better. He got a few of uh, Yeah. So shout out to bro. Y'all prayers up for him and his <laughs> family. Y'all want to get to this end of pick real quick? Yeah. We play one of his songs. <laughs> yeah. yeah, shout out to him. Shout out to Big Wood. <laughs> this nigga was still on my phone. <laughs> <laughs> but who, like, what school y'all went to? He look like he tired of talking to the cameraman. <laughs> like hurry up and get me. <laughs> Better hurry up these lights burning my hell. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> this shit hot. This shit hot as fuck. <laughs> she probably was sizzling a little bit. <laughs> Man, D. Kelly crazy, <laughs> Just so funny. <laughs> You remember we used to have to go take pictures for the church director? Oh, God. Yeah. That used to be the longest You remember that? Ever. Like, that's man, how you know bro, the church has so grown. We can't mad, do that now. Bro. It's too many members, but we, my mom made it a big thing. Mine like, did everybody, too, my, bro. Mom, my brother and my daddy would match, and me and my mama would match. It's just so lame now. My mama told me I couldn't wear no jury in this picture. I was like, y'all so lame. <laughs> my, my mom used to make us color coordinate. Like, yeah. she'd have on like a yellow blouse. My daddy have on the yellow shirt. 
with a black tie or a brown tie. Me and my brothers have on like yellow button downs, like <laughs> polos. <laughs> There's one picture I remember specifically. Shout you finna get to the end I know you, you got, got a new rising star director picture. <laughs> Ooh, hey, on my life, <laughs> I forgot like to send that picture star. to the group chat, boy. <laughs> it's, but that boy John, his mom was sitting in front, he in front of his mom with her hand on his shoulder like this. <laughs> <laughs> I seen this shit, boy. I hollered, I couldn't find my phone. I said, oh, I'm about to send this shit to the group chat. <laughs> I got y'all in the morning, I promise you. Why well, I'm not in the group chat? Huh? Like it's because I'm I'm not in the group chat, though. I just feel some type of way about that, Daryl. Bro, back then, I you ain't got me in the group chat. You I'm going to add you to the group chat. I'm, I'm the only add. girl, that's why. I'm not in the group chat. Nah, it's cool. just be, no, just everybody takes me separately and they be like, whatever it is, they have to ask. Nobody ever puts me in the group. <laughs> like, what's up with that? We just respecting you, goddamn. Like, what y'all be saying in the group chat? I can't hear. No, it ain't that. We'll like, you in, whatever it. situation you may be going on. You know what I'm saying? Well, I don't have any of those. Like this hell, I, mean, man, I don't have any of that going on. Sorry. None of that applies. I will just, you know, we ain't. <laughs> we try to respect, you know okay, what I'm saying? We're some real niggas. You know? Okay, I, I, we're real I get niggas, it, but you know you what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. I mean, you, I get I told it, you though. we was real men over here. Yeah, shout out to the real men. <laughs> <laughs> the few, there's three. Okay, four. Okay, so we about to go to this end of pick break <laughs> right didn't now. Look, get started. This is, uh. <laughs> no one's gonna get started. Go to your end of pick. It's big wug with, it's wug or wug. It's W U G. But mm-hmm. with Big Wug Flow. Hey, you're here on the Good Players Podcast. Let's go. Yeah, man. Shout out to bro. So, sports world been going crazy. Yes. What you got for us, y'all? Y'all, AG. Shout out to Jalen Brown. Like, I want to, I love to see niggas getting money. So, I'm never mad. But this new CBA deal got niggas tight. 60 million. I mean, Hey, Jalen, like, that's what's up. Like, <laughs> what is CBA? <laughs> the basketball, the basketball association. So they like, you know, like the their union. Mm-hmm. Um, so three hundred and four mil mm-hmm. for five five years, four years. Five. Um, I thought CBA five. was a damn league. <laughs> 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 basketball association. I'm about to say, what the fuck? <laughs> what's so going funny. on? I'm. But, yeah, you, fuck, you fuck with Jalen Brown, right? Yeah, but I, I he ain't got no left, but he got sixty mil. So like, if I'm a, if you a child watching him, you like shit. I ain't never got to develop my left. You see this nigga, you know he going right every time, and he's still <laughs> successful. So what I'm saying this this is the type of money I felt like LeBron and them should have got. But for the for the level bags. of this these these bags are superstar bags. You remember you when Mike Conley had like the biggest. Contract and we was like, boy. So it just happens like that. It's uh, eventually it's gonna Fred, be like that for yeah, everybody. That's wild. Fred Van Fleet got what one thirty. Yeah, and we thought that was too Fred much. Fred Van Fleet one thirty, and we thought that his was performance is every bit of like sixty mil two year type shit. Yeah, like God damn, like shout out to Rich Paul though, and shout out to the black men just getting their bag finally. You know what I'm saying? This. Yeah. This reparation bags right here. And he yeah. did say that he gonna take his money yes, and build I was the black just gonna say that. But I hate that he did that because... Now you feel like they gonna bother him? Yeah, it's up. You know what? In Boston, you gonna get on national TV. He said it's number five for racial, racial gap disparity. So like, for it to be so high, and you you fans of my team, you, you, you fans of my team, you wanna... It's almost like he just twisting it around. Like, I low-key thought he didn't like them. Yeah. Like he hated being up there because the fans was racist. But now he's like, yeah, I'm finna shit on you niggas. So shout, shout out to him. him. Yeah, man. Because that's big. He said he's gonna build a black Wall Street. And he like, he's super like intelligent. You know what I'm saying? He got yeah. like Harvard. <clears throat> he done taught in a Harvard class, like the youngest. Yeah, he went to Berkeley. Person. Yeah, like. Dude, so he was prestige like a chess man. varsity team player. Yeah. So, you know. Somebody with some sense and education and, you know, just distributing the wealth. That's beautiful. Shout out to him for that. I was glad Definitely. to hear him say that. And they told Damian Leonard to, like, nobody needs to say anything about going to a specific team. Because if you do, you might face discipline. So that's the new thing. Discipline? That is exactly. What type he of discipline? He received a memo from the NBA that he could be disciplined if he insists on only 
wanted to go to buy the Miami trade, doing the Miami trade, which is interesting because players been doing it. Mm. Like, why is it such a problem now? Because they got to control the money. Facts. But like, it's a difference between James Harden wanting to go to another team mm-hmm. and Kevin Durant going to another team and Kyrie going to another team because they do it all the time. Yeah. But damn, he went with Portland for 11 years. Like, I feel like he has the right to do that. Like, um, I think I seen like a an interview or I don't know if he said it or not, but Julius Irvin basically said that like, I respect what Kyrie doing, but like KD change teams every day. <laughs> so it's not the same. And then KD just, <laughs> he just, like he do a lot of like, I don't know type shit. You know what I'm saying? It's like, bro got on the burner page. He got down. Yeah, the burner do, like, page always made me feel type of way. Because you such an asshole on your own page. Why can't you just be yourself? Facts. And he responds to like everything. Like, not everything. And then he'll have like the, that I don't know if he don't have athletic heart to win without having to go join somebody, but he definitely has the skill set to have fire rings by now on his own. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, KD on. Do you agree three, with that? Two or three, two or three. His skill set, yes. Him by his, no. No, I'm saying he don't. He ain't got no heart to to. Yeah, he don't got that. You think so? Uh, I like, feel like he got a dog in him. He's nice. And then he might not, he, he probably want the player that look around the league and see who can help him. He probably looking like who I need to join. You know what I'm saying? It's niggas like that. You know, like. They play better with a team. Facts. I stop caring about some players when they just, when they start changing teams too much. Yeah. I feel like. I think okay. KD cares what people think. He's a little, he's slightly insecure. I just think he don't got no heart, like. I think he cares what people he wanted think. Them five he could people just stay to go to State and kill winning rings if that, that was the case. And then that's because his pride got him out of the. You know I mean, Draymond called me a bitch. I'm gone too. Because Draymond is, if I'm Kevin Durant, you supposed to pick me over him. Mm-hmm. That's how he felt, I think. Yeah, like I'm the better skilled player. Yeah, like. But it's like, bro, you could did that shit by yourself. <laughs> right, okay. On God. All you had to do was go get him a, a big man and another point guard. Mm-hmm. And then Russell Westbrook never win because he was always by self type These shit. These niggas had Russell Westbrook, James Harden, and Kevin Durant at the same time. Exactly. You seen that new and debate? They prime too. <laughs> well, no. not James Harden, but I mean James no, Harden, Harden was, nice. was still he was, dropping their ass. He was off. definitely nicer then. And he was more in shape. Like he a fat ass. Yeah, okay. drank liquor and all the what's um. Them niggas didn't win. Where's Bun B uh, no. Burger Cup they Burger uh, Place? I seen that shit. F- like, you Trail in the burger. club, but you ain't go to... That's how I know you're not trying to stay with the 76ers. You ain't go to Joel and be the um, wedding. You was the only one missing. I mean, but do you got to confuse uh, business no. with friendship? Never. But I feel like if you... If the best players on the team don't get along, it's not going to work. But, yeah. But, then, but him going to his funeral don't signify shit, though. Like His wedding? His wedding. You know, what I said... Funeral, damn. damn. Who, yeah, that was a single man. Yeah, <laughs> waking up to her. See how I did it? <laughs> nah, but uh, what up, man? No, you. you got a yeah, you think do. so? But I think I well, don't think you going to leave? the web because you know it's it's certain employees at your job that you you want to hang with, which y'all cool on the job. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's but I'm. Like but even okay, your job is different than like a regular job. Like in my job, I get it because you gotta have. Like it's chemistry. yeah, it's you. You they was in the club. Somebody fast. He was in the club, club, bro. He was literally in the club, which ain't nothing wrong with the club, by the way. I'm just saying, like, whatever. You don't fuck with that nigga like that if he ain't go to his wedding. Mm-hmm. Oh, I saw uh, Barkley got his deal um, with uh, the Giants, but I feel like they still fucked him over. Um, Running backs are disrespected in the NFL in a major way. And I think it's racism. Like, think about it. How many white running backs you see? One. Okay. And I just looked it up. Like, defensive linemen are making more than offensive linemen these days. What? Yeah. That's why teams suck, though. Okay. So. Because without an O-line, no nothing exists. Exactly. So. And I get that quarterbacks are the most important. Obviously, they deserve their money. But, like, the disrespect that some quarterbacks, like, previous quarterbacks, like, Cam Newton could be somebody quarterback right now. We just, Facts. I don't know. Maybe he talked too much. He's too flamboyant, whatever. That's what it is. He don't play the good boy role. Yeah. 
but he used to. It's just interesting how he changed. I wonder what made him change. Uh, he realized that when you used to do all that, oh, race doesn't matter. Next thing you know, they showed you it do. And now you're like, damn, I should have never said that. So now you're blackity black. Because that black. nigga did turn into like a uh, Louisiana Creole ship captain ass nigga. <laughs> yeah, like he was definitely on some All Lives like, Matter. He was giving All Lives Matter vibes. <laughs> and next thing you know, they showed him like, we don't want you dancing in the end zone. We don't want you smiling and taking pictures and running. Like, you know how he is. Mm-hmm. They don't like it. You seen that little white boy get into it with him at that event. They disrespectful. And when a nigga feel disrespect, they bring up money. They be like, they don't equate to shit. You still. Yeah, but I'm a. I'm an MVP. You are nobody. You're nothing. You're 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 a dust. You're not even gonna make it. That's what he should have said. <laughs> you just here because my he's name. Like, Drew Brees was your daddy, and it's like, mm, not really. I mean, sure, if you want to be there, but. What the fuck Drew Brees did after that one ring? Fact, this is about to say Drew Brees. So, Cam Newton ain't from that Drew Brees club, so. I'm just saying, like, you know, they played it, you know, they in the same division. I get that, but it's like, I'm not going to say white people. Younger generation, I'm going to say the younger generation, they feel like they can start shit with you and then next thing you know it's, well, you're too old to be acting like that. Like, bitch, That's called, I'm giving uh, you the victim, same we call energy that victim you bullying. gave me. Leave me the fuck alone and I'll leave you alone. Victim bullying. Because I know me, like he told him, my bank account don't look like yours. Mm-hmm. And it's the truth. So now what? You can't slap nobody and think they won't punch your ass. Period. Because <laughs> I'd be like, I got more money than your daddy, your granddad. Like, that's how I would have went. I would have just went to him. That's why you ain't never be in my position. Yeah, because you're I'm over here. Ass, little boy. <laughs> yeah, you're over here. <laughs> Put yeah. the rest of skin off his ass. But you notice. A little Tanner. He does give Tanner vibes. Oh, yeah, pipe down. <laughs> <laughs> Pipe down. Yeah. Disrespectful. I don't like that, but yeah, shout out to Cam Noon. He's still making money doing what he need to do. I know he ain't in the NFL, but he definitely could be somebody back up. Facts. I looked up all the quarterbacks the other day and was like, it's at least five teams he probably could. He's a starting quarterback. Mm-hmm. The niggas is trash. Yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was another discussion of NIL deals. Like, if you could think of any. You know, the NAL just came, but like some players, you know, who would have ate? Kobe? Nah, Kevin Garnett. LeBron would have went. Ooh. Tim Tebow would have ate. Mm-hmm. Like oh, football play, Like Tim oh, Tebow would have <laughs> ate. He would have been in so many commercials. <laughs> You're right. Facts. Like people like him. You know? Andre Smith. Marcel. Yes, all of them. Sticks. Reggie Bush would have ate, definitely. Sticks would have ate, too. Mm-hmm. Jamarcus Russell. Definitely. Yeah. Mark Ingram. Mark Ingram. Zion Williams. Julio. Julio would have went crazy too. Derrick Rose. Penny Hardaway. (laughs) Who? Charles Woods. Oh, yeah. He would definitely. (laughs) Yeah, facts. facts. Yeah. (laughs) Dion. Dion Dion Sanders would have went crazy. crazy. (laughs) Barry Sanders too. Joe Bo Jackson, people like that, they would have ate. Imagine a nigga getting an NIL deal in the 60s like Joe Brown. What y'all think Joe Brown? <laughs> I don't even know. But <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know. <clears throat> yeah. Niggas buying guns. Yeah, shout out to them boys. Shout out to them boys. Shout out to everybody out here getting that bag. And they get, I don't know, the NBA turning up. They gave Shaq Gilchrist might get, might get 400 million. Is the world coming to an end? Oh, God. It's about to blow up. <laughs> Do we? Okay, did he make an NBA team? I'm just saying, like, you, how many NBA teams you made? He made all NBA? Let me look. Hold up. Is like, he... out of that class, I would be expecting for Zion Williams to be the player to get the 400 mil by now. Yeah, but no. Like, that's the level of player that you think about when you, when you issue out money like that. You got niggas that's like, and this ain't no offense to what I'm about to say. <laughs> But it's like Jamal Crawford getting 300 mil back in the G. You think you know that's what I'm the saying? same? Is he the level of player? No. I feel like if you're the second best player on your team, I understand you meet the requirements. But like, I'm thinking like, how much we But you're watching what he do. He ain't no better than Jamal Crawford. Like, shy. No, bro. He I ain't, think he raw. He, well, he, he played a 3-2, don't he? He ain't better yeah. than D-Wade. No. No. 
Bro, that's like He's Kobe money. Like, you get what I'm like, saying? Like, 400 mil, like Kobe money, like Shaq money. T Mac should have got that much. Like, Shaq Gilchrist, bro. Seriously? Shaq the little son, they got her. Oh, yeah. Okay. Because these niggas don't be had like that, bro. I'm a sorry team, but I can't you love, bro. You love that one, like, with Fox. At um, Sacramento King. He can play, bro. He ain't better than De'Aaron Fox, though. That's like De'Aaron. You see him play? Bro, come on, bro. I've been telling y'all that since De'Aaron Fox got in the okay, league. Okay, yeah. He a shooting guard. He baby. him. He a but shooting yeah, guard. Yeah, he a, but he, he played a point. He's 6'6", six, six, though. So Because he was home. a point guard. He was at, boy, he went to Duke. He went to Duke, too. He nice, but yeah, 400? Nice. 400 million, bro. But how long? How long the country going to be? That's like giving big head... You give you gave Big Head and uh, Trill Fam f- uh, f- a forty million dollar contract. I feel like you dragging it. Nah, he the only person that who is you gonna get to on the extension? <laughs> uh, nobody, nobody. And that's okay. Sometimes it's okay to not give it to nobody. But you had to give your max. Like you had to do it. It's that's crazy. Pound, like, yeah. so they making hell of money over there. Well, they just show you like how much they really making. So sometimes it made me feel like y'all been getting over for the years. Sports exec like, that's on two million dollar salaries. It's about five of them niggas in every bill. Right, it's a lot of millionaires walking around them companies, and you just gave one nigga four hundred million. But like, y'all got some. Uh, <laughs> three million. <laughs> <laughs> shit, oh, shit, I mean, say, damn. I, he another like sixty five million dollar player. Give him sixty five million by two years. Nah, bro. <laughs> nah, he bro. like him. Obviously, he likes him. He, do, he, he play with him on two K. <laughs> Big bully here. <man. laughs> no. <laughs> Shout out to the NBA man. They finna blow a whole lot of bags and shit. Yeah, I'm ready for sports season. I mean, I know it's baseball, but you know, I'm black. You want to be fucking with the baseball? I know it's not that, but I mean, I'm black. What that mean? Like, when you grew up, you, niggas either play basketball or football. Yeah, we so. played baseball and basketball when I was growing up. <laughs> uh-huh. yeah. Black people on the raw is people at baseball. I mean, oh, of God. course, but I'm just saying, like, I don't go to MLB games. You go for like the experience. Like the games be boring, bro. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> oh, everything. Yeah, I've like, been to a Bears game. The Birmingham, like. <clears throat> it's fun to play baseball. Like, right. Man, I could never. Like, I sucked at baseball when I play. I was horrible. They had me a high catch. I ain't even <laughs> never catch that hole. You I definitely never. look like a high Nah, catch. but I used to be talking so much shit to them niggas, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I had a mamas and daddies in the stands weak as fuck and the umpire had to be like, all right, calm down, big fella. <laughs> bitch, that whole, can't, big even, fella. can't even catch that big I'm like, man, this ball hit me. I'm going to whoop this air play like, oh. <laughs> 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 you and I'm your fucking high catch, bro. <laughs> you know, nah, hand eye coordination. I want nothing but just a big ass shit talking. <laughs> That's why Baseball. he was a football player. He should have been the umpire. Yeah. Right? Hell no. Right? Shit, right? <laughs> Not saying no, and more. I feel like more black kids should boys should definitely play baseball because that's where the money is. Yeah, that's now them contracts been big like that. So mm-hmm. yeah, my partner got his son playing baseball. She, he probably gonna be athletic though because his mama was athletic. And my good. homeboy played in college too. So shout out to my nigga Sherman, <laughs> big Sherman. But yeah, man. So another debacle that happened during the week. They were saying Boosie got on Instagram for one Boosie. <laughs> <laughs> Boots a wild nigga, bro, in general. He uh but the biggest one that I seen was him talking about uh, he was bigger than Hove in the South. Mm-hmm. I just wanna know that y'all agree with that. In his like part of the South, yeah. That's what I said. I seen a lot of niggas like, hell no, nah, Jay Z. Boots it bigger than Jay Z. It's you, got some niggas, you got some niggas in Beirut that never heard a Jay-Z song and their life ain't came on radio. I can believe that. You think so? Definitely. Jay-Z? Yeah, in places like that, but in, in room, the whole bro? South, though, like, T.I. to me was more... You got some you people... Me? You got some oh, people he... in Atlanta that probably never listened to a Jay-Z song. 
that went on the radio. Okay, I can see that. Niggas from here. You got niggas from yeah, here? Yeah, I'm trying to go everywhere it. side, but side of Silver Birmingham. That No Lil Boosie song. Boosie going Yeah, Boosie. Oh, God. Boosie they usually Boosie my friend had to favorite rapper. Play. What y'all think made Boosie bigger in the South than opposed to Jay-Z? Because we can, we were in the South. We could see that nigga. Like, we was at Boosie shows and mm-hmm. shit like that. Only way we heard a New York nigga was from the radio to even know to go listen to the New York nigga. Mm-hmm. I think, yo, I think, because if you had Boosie at, like, the same night in a, like, progressive stadium versus the other one, and him and Jay-Z did a concert on the same night, Boosie should have been more packed than Jay-Z shit. But then you got to look at, like, the white fans... So you got to do it in a, well, in a, a state in like, Birmingham. Like if they did that shit in Birmingham, a Jay Z concert didn't they have one not too long ago. Yeah, and it wasn't even packed. It didn't yeah. go crazy. Mm-mm. I know a people, a couple of people that went, but yeah. If you put Boost up there, that that shit gonna be. I remember he did that at um when he first got out of jail. Remember what was we there? Be- mm. Boosie before jail. Boosie after jail, no. So. Post boosting better than. You said post boosting. Pre boosting. <laughs> I meant pre boosting. <laughs> He's like boosting before jail. Yeah, I can give you that because uh, when you went to the club, you heard him and Webby. Heavy. And Webby was way harder than Boost. He could rap better than him to me. So do that make Webby bigger than Jay? <laughs> Jay Z in the South? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Savage Life. No. Yeah, no. Bigger legend in the South. He literally could have won a song. Grammy. I don't know. Shit. He should like, have. Savage, like, Places outside of Louisiana, folks are favor Webby over Boosie. But like in Baton Rouge, all that shit, they favor. Where, where Webby from? Baton Rouge? They both from Baton Rouge. Okay. I don't know. Damn, Webby man. got signed by niggas from Texas. Oh. One they rap a lot? Trill fan. Trill they, fan. Um, Pimp C and them. Yeah. Because that, that shit was nice. hard. For real, that, I, sometimes I go back and just Both listen to that old shit. I guess. <clears throat> but they had to go to like some states that's like in the middle between New York and then the South to really mm. ask that question. Then mm. Jay-Z gonna win if that's the case. You never know. It's some country-ass places that's really up north. <laughs> like, like, that ain't Chicago the South. Chicago country is fuck, bro. Yeah. Because a lot of people migrated, you know, from there. You know, shit like Virginia. Yeah, you got places in Virginia. They call themselves the South because they close to Carolina. Yeah. I don't even consider Carolina the South. It, it technically is, though. It, but technically, but yeah. it ain't really. Yeah. It's like upper northern east. <laughs> to the play where they'll hear Boosie and Jay-Z. Mm-hmm. Right. You had to see. Right now to yeah. let you know. I mean, we'll listen to Jay-Z in the club where I be at. No clubs or no bars. They might no play uh, the shit that come on the radio. Oh. Mm, I haven't heard that it I'm a hustler baby mm-hmm. They definitely play that in the club what Cause club? that be in the mix with Before I Let Go And <laughs> Tevin Campbell That's what we can do tonight Yeah they be having like a little set Where they just play like Cook out some turn night. shit For like yeah. 15 I hate that little gap right there Like bro I'm like, I'm You be ready shit. to go yeah. You know I'll leave that bitch in a minute And yeah. DJ like Wack I'm out, I'm out. This nigga finna be on that bullshit. <laughs> this nigga finna play old ass Webby. I mean, old ass Webby, old ass Boots and Mr. Biggs. I like Webby though. Beginning, beginning, beginning stages of Yo Gotti. Like, let me get the fuck up out of here. Do you hear the free Webby songs? Is your boy? You already know where you at. You know the DJ full of shit. You know the vibes. <laughs> what the I word? Definitely DJ. smoke your this cigarettes in this. Song. Oh God! Like, oh, yeah, you can smoke your cigarettes. Real life. Life. Oh, you know. <laughs> What's the worst DJ you ever seen? You ain't got to say the nigga name. What that nigga had did? Oh uh, <laughs> man, I got some stories. What's yours? What's the worst? What's the wackest shit the DJ ever did in the club? Y'all, don't say niggas, no name. I don't care. But anyway, he played. <laughs> um, and this was like not too long ago. He played Usher Yeah in the club, right? <laughs> what year was this? Did she like three oh, months, two, three up. months ago? With some, white, that. <laughs> with some white people. Hey, oh, okay. God. It was literally like, I'm not trying to be f- funny. It might have been like two or three white people in the spot, but it's them but niggas in the place. So it ain't no reason to play nah, this Nah, he must have been fucking with one of them hoes when them girls was by the DJ booth. And I'm like, and they was getting it, but everybody else was like, yeah, in in twenty twenty three, 
Mm-mm. Man, Mm-mm. I remember one. I remember one part I went to, bro. I'm in that hole. Uh, I should have known it was some bullshit with the DJ because when they had started swapping DJs, the girls who was at the table, I was there was like, oh shit, they finna put this nigga up there, bitch. Let's go. <laughs> it's like, but like, they fuck with the DJ. <laughs> like, the nigga who bought the DJ. Man, that nigga first song came on and done, done, done it all came on. Then Mr. Biggs came on after that. But I said, oh, I'm finna get the fuck up right <laughs> And on God, he at the DJ booth like dropping his shit. <laughs> 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 You are now in the mix with DJ such and such. Yeah. I hate it. Do, 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 he let the shit play? Did he start the whole back? Drop some horns on the horns? You lying. Bro, nah, I swear, that was And nobody shit. was vibing with it. Bro, they was sitting there looking like, bro, what the fuck is you doing? It felt like we was at like a... Alumni week party. <laughs> <laughs> but it's dead yeah, ass. Everybody in this bitch ain't no older than 30. 32, 33 at the most. <laughs> this nigga feel like we had the alumni picnic and you didn't walk by the class of 2002 tent. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Man, fuck out of here with that shit. But it used to be a lot of times I went out in Birmingham and the DJs was just like... But I also went out in out of state and then went places like, what the fuck? Miami. <laughs> I didn't been to Miami and the DJ oh, was trash. trash. But if you go to them Hispanic clubs, though, that shit be lit. Shout out to DJ Slugger. That's my favorite DJ. No. He be clad. One DJ that won me over recently was uh, Cuzzo. Oh, yeah. I like Cuzzo. Cuzzo had that bit rocking. Yes, he ain't played nothing from... He probably stayed in 2012 the whole time and up. Like, he ain't go no old... None of that shit. Like, when niggas used to drive hot Cheeto cars and shit. <laughs> <laughs> like, God damn, my boy. Cut that shit off. That shit was at the park on Sunday. <laughs> It's 2023. What the fuck wrong with you? You used to be crazy as hell. Oh, God. I got long hair. I got a pop. I remember the night I heard that shit in the club, bro. I tell you, I ran out that whole damn there. Boy, y'all niggas suck. It's getting better, though. You know? You Not all of them, though, because I don't want nobody. I walk in somewhere, nigga looking at me crazy. You don't have to be politically correct. Fuck. Them. I ain't being politically you, correct, bro. I'm like, just saying, you know, like niggas get shit. offended by their craft. Okay, but you know, if I don't like it, I don't like it. It's people that's not gonna like what I say, like what you say. Oh well. But then the day I found out that it's not what I say, it's my delivery. Huh? See, I heard that shit literally four times today. So. I was like, all right, God, let me listen to you because you're telling me. Mm-hmm. So I try not to be so horrible with this shit. But these niggas do suck. <laughs> he said all that to say that. So what was the point? <laughs> I apologize. For you not understanding what I'm trying to say. Toxic. But I'm toxic. And T's can't even have fun because he's Nick Mr. He mad. He like, you know, you got to laugh on this. I love a freak ass shit. Laugh on this. Shout out to T's. Shout out to T's. Chilling, that nigga look crazy. It's like somebody got a gun to his head. Like, look I at me. I know I'm holding my head. Like, like, oh, bro. <laughs> he turned around like, bro, don't, bro, I ain't been doing shit. We're supposed to be brothers. <laughs> We're supposed to be brothers. <laughs> oh, shit. Man, y'all so funny. I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> what about that nigga that's, uh... Boys in the hood, we hopped in the car to us today. Oh, and uh, and the red drive through. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, supposed to be. But then that nigga Paige went off, and you like fuck. You got a beeper? You got a beeper now? Oh, you balling? Oh, you balling? <laughs> Man, that was oh, I had man. to see some shit like that to believe that shit right there, boy. Wait, nigga, so you got like a beeper, that. nigga? Yeah, I'm funny. <laughs> what you talking about, nigga? Getting jacked at the like the, at the burger place while you order food and this so nigga made you order, order him a burger. Oh, yeah, God. yeah, Which a specific he... way. Let <laughs> <laughs> me get a, and then they still trying time. to be smooth at the drive through like he wasn't getting right. Let <laughs> me get a double burger. Nigga, I got with cheese. Nigga. <laughs> I said I almost you killed you up with some stupid. <laughs> <laughs> and then he like, man, we supposed to be brother. <laughs> man, you so crazy. Nigga, page went off. <laughs> you got a beat. 
<laughs> oh, you privileged. Oh, you nigga. got a beep or two, nigga? Oh, you calling. I done Please. took your rims, your dings. <laughs> Yo, Not day, yo, stereo, and you got a beeper. Then you got on the way. phone and bragged about that shit. Oh, God. <laughs> Niggas ain't shit. <sighs> Shout yeah. out to California, boy. Shout out to California, boy. <laughs> yeah, man. We ain't got anything else, people. Oh, and make sure y'all follow us on um, Instagram. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. And rate and review, please. Facts. Thank, Thank you. you. Facts. <laughs> we need that. We need that. Doing reviews been funny. Yeah. <laughs> People be reviewing the shit? Bro. Yes. Yeah. You saying everything? My baby daddy was on there reviewing it. No. He was like, my baby mama on there. Yeah, let him know. Did you know. see it? Did you see it? Let him know. Yeah. <laughs> Show me your bad, young nigga. Yeah, let them know. You see it? Put your stamp down. You see right, it? Baby daddy. He supposed to be Shout the first one. Daddy. He supposed to be the main one promoting it. Yeah. Shout out to baby daddy. <laughs> All right. <laughs> y'all know what y'all know what the fuck going on. <laughs> yes, sir. I'm April baby daddy. <laughs> you do know me, nigga. I'm April baby daddy. Baby, 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 baby daddy. Period. <laughs> Shout That's out to him. Oh, we just playing forever. Yeah, man. But yeah, you made it to the end of this podcast. Just know we three players. Those April G. Well, April G. Uh, discussing hip hop, entertainment, and culture, and, and all, all the ratchet shit in between. between. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> I'm saying like blue, baby.